We're gonna go and we're gonna go start it right up. I swept it out already. The hole has been swept out. It's been prepped. And now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be starting our machine. We have our millings in there. And in roughly about four to five minutes, these millings will be ready for our rejuvenator to be put in place. Okay, we have flame. So now the heating process is beginning. Our drum is rotating. And Anthony, how long did you put the timer on for? Four minutes. So we have the timer on for four minutes where the material will get to between 350 and 400 degrees Fahrenheit. also great for being able to get rid of crabgrass along the curb as well as for most importantly being able to heat up the area where there's going to be leftover materials for you on our exit area. A little, left. A little less than two minutes left for the initial heating. And then Anthony will then take the infrared, infrared thermometer gun and he'll make sure that he'll go in and he'll test the temperature to see what it will be. We believe it's going to be between 350 degrees and 400 degrees when this burner goes off. The total amount of time with the burner on will be four minutes. rejuvenator and due to the amount of material which was roughly about 300 pounds that we started off with 
we're going to be putting in about a half a quart of our rejuvenator. Once the rejuvenator is in the drum, we will then spin the drum for an additional three to four minutes so as to have the rejuvenator and the melon be completely folded in with the unique things that we have inside the drum. Anthony's going to put the latch back on. He's going to restart the mixer without the burner. We've done the initial firing up of the millings. The millings have been shown to be at a temperature of 426 degrees. We're now shut the burner off. We're put the, the rejuvenator in. Now we're going to rotate the mixer for an additional three more minutes to allow the rejuvenator and the millings to all come together, at which time we will expel the asphalt at the back and we'll do your compaction, all within less than 10 minutes. So we're at 320 degrees. Perfect. It's still in the hole. So now he's going to expel it out of the back. He's going to bring the shovel over and put it over in. Now what he's going to use, he's going to use our roller. This is a three-speed vibratory roller with water that spells out of it. This roller is only 92 pounds, but it can do a lift of eight inches for pothole repair. Initially, what he's going to do is go over it without it being revved up, so as to conform the material into a mold. pothole has been repaired. Once this gets down to a temperature of about 120 degrees, you're ready to drive over it. Anthony will take a temperature of it in a minute to see where it is. You can actually douse it with a little bit of water just to make the temperature go down a little bit uh, sooner. Okay, we wanted to come back and we wanted to show you what the final patch looked like. This now is under, it's right around 100 degrees and Medi, if you could please stand on that for me. Can you please step down on that? How hard is that, Medi? Very hard. Very hard. Very hard. This is drivable now. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're taking a look at our Dragon Asphalt Crack Filler Sealer Unit. We already have our material that's preheated. And this is a very, very fast process.
And Anthony's going to get it up to the manhole cover. Then he's going to be going around the perimeter of the manhole cover so as to actually solve the problem with water seeping in and actually helping to create the cracks that are running off it. This is our last process and step in the process. This is our black road sand. This is used for additional traction purposes, non-splatter, very aesthetically pleasing. Now once this is blended in with the hot mix, you could either let the natural elements blow it away or you can broom it away which we're going to do but we're going to give it a minute or two for it to be able to get in the crack filling core. 